Amen. Praise the Lord. New Rising Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is not dead. He is alive. And because he's alive, you and I ought to rejoice and be glad in this day. Whatever you're up against today, I promise you, God has given you the artillery to defeat it or the armor to defend against it. There's nothing that can come your way that can defeat you because you are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ who loves you. That's Bible. That's in Romans chapter eight, and I think verse 35. And so I want you to go in that victory today. Uh, we've been praying for the last uh, 21 days. We're day 22 about winning spiritual victories in spiritual battles by using spiritual weapons. That's right. This weapon or these weapons that we use in our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in God to pulling down strongholds, to giving us the victories that God wants us to have. And so we've been praying for the last 21 days about those um, weapons that we need to use from first, or excuse me, second Corinthians um, chapter six, and uh, also now in Ephesians chapter six. And as we're praying about these things, I pray it's been a blessing to you. And I know it's been a blessing to me. That was 2 Corinthians chapter 10, I'm sorry, verse three through six. And so today we're gonna to be in Ephesians chapter number six and verse 16. Ephesians chapter six and verse 16. Uh, the Lord helps us to understand the armor that we are to put on each and every day in Ephesians chapter six and verse 16. Here's what the word of God says. In verse 14, we stand, therefore having girded our waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Verse 16 says, above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Here, the writer Paul is again invoking an illustration, a picture, if you will, of a Roman soldier getting dressed for battle. And as that soldier gets dressed, he takes a belt that holds everything together. We're supposed to take the truth of God's word, which holds everything together in our life. That Roman soldier would put on a breastplate. We're supposed to put on the breastplate of righteousness to protect our heart, to protect our vital organs. We don't have a righteousness that is our own apart from Christ, but our righteousness is in his death, burial and resurrection. And then we are supposed to put on our feet the gospel of peace to get traction in this world, to stay stable in this world. And now he comes and tells us that that Roman soldier would put, pick up his shield and to go into battle. And we too have a shield. It is called the shield of faith. And we take that shield of faith because it is able to quench the fiery darts of the enemy. When a Roman soldier would go into battle, they would shoot darts, the enemy would, at the opposing soldiers. And those darts would be dipped in some gasoline and then they would be set on fire and they would shoot those darts so that even if they missed, they would set ablaze the things that were around the soldiers, but they would take their shields of faith. And when those darts would hit their shield, excuse me, they would take their shields. When those darts would hit their shield, it would put the fire out. That's what our faith is designed to do is to put out the fiery darts of the enemy. We can't keep the enemy from shooting at us, but we can cause his weapon not to prosper against us by the faith that we carry. So let's go to God today in faith, carrying the shield of faith that puts out the fiery darts of the enemy. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you and bless and praise you for this day that you have made. God, we are rejoicing. We are glad in it. Lord, I thank you for the New Horizons Church family. I thank you for our prayer warriors and our prayer team praying alongside of me. I thank you for the friends of this ministry and those that fellowship with this ministry and come into contact and are praying along with us, Lord, all over this country and nation, all over the world, in fact, Lord, we thank you that we are on one accord and in alignment with your word that tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 that though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. In fact, the weapons of our warfare, you tell us, are not carnal, but are mighty in you, O God, to the pulling down of strongholds. So we thank you for the artillery to get the victory, and we thank you for the armor to get the victory. And today, Lord, we recognize that, that the enemy wants to kill and to destroy and to steal from us, according to John chapter 10, verse 10. We know, Lord God, that one of the ways that he does that is shoots fiery darts at us. Lord God, you said no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper. 
And so, Lord God, we can't keep the enemy from forming a weapon. We can't keep the enemy from firing a weapon, but we can put that weapon out, Lord, and make it and render it useless against us by taking the shield of faith. I pray, Lord God, today that your people would walk into every situation with faith. I pray they would walk into every circumstance with faith. I pray they would walk into every room with faith. And I pray their faith would be built upon a solid foundation and a trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you told us that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I pray, Lord God, even as we read your word today, that it would build up our faith and we would take our faith like a shield and go into battle, Lord. We would take our faith like a shield and to go into the fight. We would take our faith like a shield and go into every situation, Lord, knowing that our shield of faith will quench the fiery darts of the enemy. Lord, we can't keep people from talking about us we can't keep people from talking against us. Lord, we can't even keep people from trying to do things to us, but we can walk in the shield and walk behind the shield of your faith. So Lord God, we thank you that this faith that we have, Lord, you've given it to us by your grace, for we are saved by grace through faith, and it is not of our works lest we would boast. We thank you, Lord, that when we read your word, we receive faith. And I pray, Lord God, that our faith would be so strong that we would link up one with another so that when the enemy is coming in and firing at us, our faith would link up together and quench the fiery darts of the enemy, not only in our life, but in the lives of everyone that is connected to us. Lord, we thank you and bless you and praise you for your armor. We ask you to forgive us when we didn't carry it into battle. And we took some blows and, and, and received some shots that we should not have had to take or to receive because we let our guard of faith down. But we lift it up now, God, in the spirit realm. We lift it up, oh, now, God, over our churches. We lift up our faith over our families. We lift up our faith over our communities. We lift up our faith over our country and our government. We lift up our faith over our world, Lord God. And when the enemy tries to burn us down and tries to bring us down, Lord, we stand united in one Lord, one faith and one baptism. So thank you, Lord, for it. We bless you and believe you for victory today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. A good hot prayer and you ought to be ready to go into battle today. Our scripture came today is day 22 from Ephesians chapter six and verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Amen. Go in the victory that God already has for you. We'll be back tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless.